Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are discussing how to keep the fire burning for God. Friends, the old adage, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. It's true. The number one way to keep yourself fired up in the things of the Father, you got to be on that rescue mission. See, Jesus was out seeking to save those who were lost. And if you and I do not mimic our Savior and we don't keep our minds on the mission, it is a mission for redemption of all men, boys, girls, women, any and everybody who's willing to confess that they are sinners and turn from their sin, friends, the mission, when you stay in it, you will keep yourself on fire, as we say, for God. But if you forget what this is all about, you will die on the vine. Your life will be lacking luster. You will be bored. You won't have no purpose because the mission is from the commission given to the disciples over 2,000 years ago. And we that are partakers of the great gospel of Jesus, that commission still is intact. It still remains. The mission is redemption and to encourage our brethren to continue to stay in the way that's straight and narrow. So friends, the question on the floor today is, what are your spiritual gifts? Do you know what they are? If you do not, my friends, it's because you are not seeking him with your whole heart. Let me be very clear. God will not leave you ignorant. He said, if you do not have his spirit and you ask him of the Holy Spirit, why would your fathers who know how to give good gifts, why would they give you good gifts and he would not give you the Holy Spirit? Would he give you a stone and you ask for bread? God is saying you have not because you're not asking. You're not seeking. You don't come to your brethren to ask these questions, friends. You go to the one that imparted you that gift. Do you have the gift of, of, of administration? Do you have the gift of giving? Are you a person that like to help others? Do you have the gifts of the gift of helps? Are you a servant? Friend, you got to ask yourself these questions because as we move into the new season, it's time to get busy. People are more depressed and downcast in the season that's ahead of us. And we need to be about our father's business, friends. So whatever God has imparted for your stewardship and your management, that is what, what you begin to engage on the mission field, to seek and to save, to reach out to brethren and friends. We all that love Jesus, how can you not talk about him? How? How is it possible not to want to talk about him? I'll tell you, friends, you have not met him. See, see, my goal and my assignment here on the YouTube channel is to engage and challenge all of us to consider because many have a fake Jesus. And therefore, we, we, we have so many people confused they don't know what they're doing, therefore, or, or how to do what to do. They constantly seek men. You got to be what Jesus said. It, when we love God with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength, friend, you think he ain't going to talk back? He's going to put in your heart what you're supposed to be doing because the fire of the spirit, if you will, the fire of your heart, which is the mission, it stays ablaze when you're working those gifts, when you're working your impartation and your measure of faith, when you're working that thing, friends, that fire just keeps going and going and going. And before you know it, it's so many things that you're working with because you're being faithful over the little things. If you're not faithful over the small things, he's not going to give you more responsibility because you won't be faithful over the small things. When's the last time you've done a random act of kindness? Random acts of kindness save lives. Oh yes, friends, it saves lives. And therefore, we that love our Lord, we must understand everybody is not outside of God's kingdom. There are many people all scattered over the globe or the earth. They, we love God. And, and God may have called you as an encourager. 
So unless you work that gift, that gift begins to just settle down. But if you work it, oh, friends, you won't have enough greeting cards. And in my case, soaps, I make soap for hope. That's what I use as a point of contact to spread hope. Friends, I got so much soap. I feel like the lady in the shoe. She has so many kids, she ain't know what to do. I got so many soaps and designs in my head and my heart. Because I'm working this thing, friends. This is my great pleasure to serve God's people, to serve my fellow man. Whether you're in Christ or not, I'm going to give you a random act of kindness. I don't care who you are. Because we're just throwing out seed. And let me tell you, friends, I'm a witness. When you work with what you have, you'll look around and you got so much. you you like, God, I'm good. Oh, this is all. You got to work it, friends. That's how you stay on fire. You got to work with what you got. You got to keep the embers of, of the flames of your heart for the mission. It's all about the mission. Stay focused there. That fire will never dim out. It'll just keep growing and growing and growing. And more ideas and more ideas. He's so full of ideas, friends. More and more. So how do we keep the fire burning? Work it. Work it. Keep your focus on serving your fellow man. God bless you, my friends. Let's go, soldiers. Dig down in your treasure trove. What has been given to you to steward and to manage, to bless your fellow man? God bless you, my friend. Till next time.